To the latest on the toxic train derailment in Ohio, efforts to remove the toxic waste are set to resume this morning as the Ohio EPA begins monitoring groundwater at the scene of the accident. And Alex Perche is on the scene in Ohio with more. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Rebecca. This week, up to three wells are going in at that derailment site to measure potential toxins in the groundwater there just out of an abundance of caution as this cleanup effort here continues. This morning, shipments of contaminated waste resuming as cleanup crews ramp up plans to offload tons of water and soil from that toxic train derailment site in East Palestine, Ohio. We have identified EPA certified facilities that will be able to accept at least some of these wastes. Some of the 1.8 million gallons of liquid waste will go to northern Ohio, while loads of solid waste are headed about 20 miles south of the crash site. The announcement comes after officials in Michigan refused to accept shipments of contaminants, and Texas said it wouldn't take any more. We weren't told what's going on, and we're getting bits and pieces of sketchy information. I learned about this not from a regulatory agency, not from the company, but from a member of the press, and that's unacceptable. The White House directing multiple agencies to continue door-to-door -door check ins on families here. We're still not using our, our water uh, to cook or uh, drink. Residents not taking any chances, stocking up on bottled water and free home filters. Environmental advocate Aaron Brockovich telling me this community will need testing for the foreseeable future. We're not talking about a matter of months from now. We're not talking about even a matter of years from now, but potentially decades. Is that what I'm hearing? Absolutely. This begins a huge water issue. We've seen it play itself out over and over and over again. And you see this sprinkler behind me. They're aerating the water in this creek to remove toxins. This creek is downstream from that derailment zone. There are stations like this all over town. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.